Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to export a worksheet as a text file. So we're still going to continue working with our inventory spreadsheet. We notice that there's three um, worksheets along the bottom. We're going to click on the uh, inventory uh, inventory tab at the bottom and we're going to look or work with the uh, data on the inventory worksheet. So we're going to start by um, uh, clicking on the file menu and then choosing export. So we're going to export um, the data that's in this file into we're going to export it and convert it into a text file all at the same time. Now the reason why that is important is because um, in your work in the medical field you will be working with data files that come from a variety of different sources. A text file or a CSV um, comma delimited file um, is kind of a standard industry standard neutral document. Many programs regardless of where the data comes from can uh, read and accept a CSV uh, document. So we're going to export and save it as a CSV all at the same time. So we've uh, clicked on export um, to get into uh, the start of our export uh, process. We're going to change the file ta uh, type um, from uh, what it currently is, which is XLSX, which is an Excel spreadsheet extension, and we're going to choose the comma delimited. So that's the kind of industry standard that can just strip the data down raw so that it can then be uh, read into a different uh, type of file, different program. So we've chosen the CSV and then we're going to click the Save As button. So then we, we give it a name, so I'm just going to give it an export uh, practice file um, CSV format. I'm going to save it onto my desktop and notice that it already put in the CSV comma delimited uh, file type because we chose that in the first window. I'm going to click Save, and then we'll uh, we'll get a a message that says the selected file type does not support workbooks that contain multiple sheets. So we were uh, coming from a workbook that has three worksheets. So our option then is to save only the active sheet, click OK. And that's what we want anyway. We're only, um, we're only using the active sheet, so we'll click OK. And then, um, and then we'll get another message that says some features in the work workbook might be lost. And of course, that's true in that the process of exporting and creating a CSV format is to strip away um, all of the other features within the text such as columns and rows and any formatting that ki kind of thing so of course some of those features will be lost and that's exactly what we want those are the features that get confused in other programs so we're just going to click yes um, because we want to keep using the format Format. And so then um, we um, we save it as a uh, comma delimited or CSV um, uh, file. All right. So then we've saved it. So now we're going to um, close this file. It says, do you want to save any changes? Well, I haven't made any since I exported it. So I'm going to say no. And then here's the practice. Um, file over here, but before I open that, I'm going to open Notepad. So Notepad is kind of a pro, uh, uh, common text-only program that comes with Windows. So I'm going to, in my search, I'm just going to type Note, and there's the Notepad file. Okay, and then if I go to File, Open, I can go over to my desktop, I can uh, type in the, I think I called it a practice something, didn't I? Mm, I forget what I called it. So let's do this. I'll shrink that. And we called it 
export practice file. <laughs> See, I forgot already. Export practice file. I'll put that in my search. Export practice file CSV format. And so all files, not just TXTs. And I'm going to open it in my notepad. So let's have a look at this. This is all of the data from the worksheet that we copied. Um, but instead of columns and rows, it's each um, field is separated by a comma. And so other programs that will accept this data in uh, will then um, line it up into columns based on the commas. So it's a, a, a standard format for a text only that we could then send to various different types of programs. So that's how we take the data that's in an Excel spreadsheet, save it as a text only file that we could then send along to other um, programs uh, that would be able to read the data.